Well, hey strangers, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Edwin. I'm the pretty green vinyl guy and I haven't posted a video in a long time. I'm not going to get into that right now though. What I'm going to do is jump into some of these top 10 lists and then I'm going to come back with a video a little later on in the coming days with a room tour of my new music room and a little bit of an update. So for this video, I'm going to concentrate on my top 10 reissues for 2022. So albums that were given a, either a new remastering or brought back on vinyl for the first time or brought back in a special edition. And um, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with a few more of the more contemporary titles. Uh, of course, this is Joni Mitchell's Blue. This was uh, newly remastered by Bernie Grumman uh, under the supervision of Joni Mitchell. So she actually uh, took some interest and participated in this getting remastered. Um, this sounds fantastic, as you can imagine. This one's just on black, black vinyl with the Reprise Classic uh, label. The second one was one that I, I was really looking forward to seeing it remastered because I just had an original 70s copy that was beaten, scratched to shit. And that's probably what most people um, had in their collection. So this is, of course, uh, The Who's Tommy, their fantastic rock opera. Um, this is on one of those uh, Abbey Road Here's my certificate of authenticity. Abbey Road Studios. I know these have, Abbey Road have received, you know, pretty negative comments for many of their sounds that they have uh, done with their other reissues. But I gotta say, this one hits it out of the park. It's beautifully repackaged. Um, it sounds amazing. And... Um, you know, on a good setup, you're really going to feel the power of the Who's Tommy. I really enjoyed that being brought back and essential. Uh, these are in no particular order, by the way. This one was a, a late release, just, just came out a couple of weeks ago. This is uh, Johnny Lee Hooker, The Healer. This is um, his 1989 album, uh, redone on Kraft Records. This featured, uh, this is also remastered by Bernie Grumman. Um, you know, this was a sort of a comeback. You know, like so many artists at that time frame um, had so many comeback albums and Johnny Lee Hooker jumped on that bandwagon. Um, this won him a Grammy uh, for his duet, um, In the Mood. Or, uh, sorry, I'm In the Mood um, with um, Bonnie Raitt playing slide guitar, who was huge at this time. I don't know if you guys remember, but that album was also massive. Uh, but there's also songs on here with uh, Robert Cray, Santana, Los Lobos, George Thorogood, uh, Canned Heat. Um, yeah, this sounds fantastic. I mean, I think Kraft Records has a good reputation. I think they do a good job with, they, with what they put out. And this is no exception. This is very good. Amazingly, amazing sound quality. Uh, this is uh, Steely Dan, Can't Buy a Thrill. Uh, this is their first album, which of course came out in two reissues uh, this year. If, you know, if you're one of the big spenders in the vinyl community, you know, the guys at the big bucks, you were buying the, uh, the uh, what is it, the UH, UHQR version of this. Some of us more, uh, you know, the peasants, of the vinyl community we're, we're happy enough with this um, United Music uh, reissue. Um, I believe this is also uh, Bernie Grumman. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I didn't do my homework. I'm 99% sure that this is almost done exactly from the same tapes uh, that were used for the uh, the UHQR version. Um, I just think it was pressed uh, differently. 
take for that whatever you know. But I'll tell you what, this sounds really good, and I'm going to be pretty happy with these. I think Asia is the only one I'm going to spend the big bucks on, because that is my favorite Steely Dan album, and I think that's the one I'll spend the money on for the box. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite albums of all time. This is uh, Roxy Music's Avalon. This is... Um, well, I mean, this was a wonderful sounding album in its own right. Uh, but this is very beautifully put back out. Um, this is mastered by Robert Ludwig. And um, this was cut half speed from the original tapes. This is also was done at Abbey Road Studios. And uh, they did a really nice job with this too. And it sounds fantastic. Uh, really, really, really good. If you If you love this album as much as I do, uh, this is definitely worth uh, spending the money on. Just fantastic. Can't say enough about Roxy Music and Avalon. Now, this is one I was really looking forward to. I, I had these all on CD, um, their whole catalog, and I understand the rest are going to trickle out over the coming years. Um, I think the, the other one is up coming up next. Uh, this is Cake, uh, Fashion Nugget. Cake were... How would you describe cake? Like alternative. They got a little bit of a Latin feel with the trumpet. And um, of course, this one had uh, Frank Sinatra, The Distance, and uh, a great remake of I Will Survive. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about these guys, but Cake, uh, Fashion Nugget, a great, great album. Um, Remastered, doesn't say by who, probably says on the back. Again, also out of the um, the umbrella of United Artists. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to other ones of that. Um, let's see here. Let's go with uh, the Lemonheads. This was a, a remaster um, of the original album. And then they also added um, some essential extras, and then they also added some demo recordings. Nice. Uh, this was the deluxe edition. I love this album. I played this to death when the original came out in 92, I believe. Um, of course, famous for the song, It's a Shame About Ray. But this whole album is fantastic. You know, it's kind of, um, you know, pop, garage pop, shoegazy, a little bit. Um, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame these guys ever went on to do more. But this is definitely an essential album from the 90s. And I was super happy to find it. And uh, I don't think it's, yeah, it's just on black vinyl. Uh, let's see. Uh, a 30 minute. Oh, Lemonheads is a shame about Ray, 30th anniversary, direct from the hazy days of 92, original album remastered with a wreath, oh, sorry, a wealth, a wreath, it's Christmas, a wealth of bonus material. Perfect album, according to the New Music Express. Yeah, the Lemonheads, it's a shame about Ray. This one is, um, again, Everyone loves that noise. I remember, you know, way back in the day when I used to be doing YouTube videos. This is the Seahorses. Uh, do it yourself. Seahorses were a Brit rock band that um, came out of the Stone Roses. The guitar player for the Stone Roses um, created the Seahorses. Um, these guys were great. Um, I think they only really had the one album. Um... This is remastered by Bob Ludwig at Gateway Mastering. Um, originally, this was produced by uh, Tony Viscotti. Um, so, and the guy Squire was the guitar player from Stone Roses. I can't think of his first name right now. It's not going to say on here, of course. But um, yeah, the Seahorses, uh, classic Brit rock, uh, layered jangly guitars, um, 
yeah, basically uh, anything you can think about um, Brit Rock uh, as a category, and this would definitely fall into it. So yeah, super happy. This is on Music on Vinyl, um, which I believe does a digital uh, mastering from the original tapes, but sounds really great. Uh, another British band, The Libertines. This was their debut from, I want to say 1992 as well, I believe. The Libertines were, of course, uh, Pete Doherty, Doherty, who, um, you know, was famous for his partying and drug taking and dating uh, Kate Moss. Because when you create a debut as fantastic as this, you get to date supermodels. That just So you young kids out there, if you're looking for a direction, create an amazing debut album, date supermodels. Um... Yeah, so this was um, their debut. Uh, considered, you know, probably one of the greatest debut albums of the 1990s. Um, classic album cover, Riot Police. I believe that was from a, a riot in Argentina, uh, was where that photo was from. This was, uh, this was a good one too. This was the, um, the extended that you could buy. This came with the original album on this lovely cherry red. And then also uh, Libertine's live show at the 100 Club on um, the 4th and the 10th, 2022. So yeah, fantastic album. Definitely worth having. That was Rough Trade Records that brought that one back out. I think they did the original also. And then even though I said that I didn't really have this in order, I will say that my favorite, favorite remastered album of 2022 is Wilco's Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. Um, they did a fantastic job with this. It sounds pristine. One of the great alternative albums made, ever, ever made in the United States of America. Um, remastered beautifully. If you ever see this, uh, get it. It's a fantastic album. They never, I don't think, I mean, Wilco still going strong today, touring, still making great music, but they never, they never achieved this album. This was, this was their, their best, in my opinion. So yeah, there you have my stack, my top 10 uh, remastered reissues of 2022. Thanks, everybody. If you enjoyed this and are looking for more videos, then, you know, subscribe to my channel and I will try and stay on this a little more. Until then, peace out. See you guys and Happy New Year.